What's up guys, it's Friday and so you know what time it is. It's time for What The Fitness. And this week we have, returning to the show, David Asprey. It looks like bro is airbrushing his pictures cause I mean, he don't look like that in some of the videos I've seen. But hey, you know what? It's Instagram. I guess I'm just fortunate. I was born with this beautiful face, doesn't need to be airbrushed. Sorry, I, I can't help myself. Anyway, today we don't have a video to review. We have a, I guess we can't call them tweets anymore. Can we still call them tweets? We have a, um, a, 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 a post he made on X and he says, vegetable oil, soybean oil, canola oil, safflower oil, and corn oil are all processed foods. They slow your cellular metabolism and accumulate in your brain and white fat cells. Butter on the other hand, improves your metabolism and gives you healthy cell structures. Okay, slows your cellular metabolism. I would love to have Dave here and be like, Dave, what objective measurement could we use to actually assess slowing of cellular metabolism? I can tell you, he has no idea. He has no idea because he made it up because it sounds scientific. I guess if you were going to look at the rate of cellular metabolism, first off, what compounds are being metabolized? There are thousands of different metabolic pathways, so which one in particular are we discussing? And if we're talking about the rate of ATP production, if it is slowing that, that actually means you're producing less ATP per unit time, which actually means you would lose more body fat because you're having to work harder to create the same amount of ATP. Oh, that's weird, huh, Dave? You know, if you had like basic biochemistry, you'd probably know this stuff. Alas, biochemistry is not fun for people like Dave, so he would just rather make shit up. Now, let's take the whole process. I, I, uh, it's so interesting about how our, our hunter-gatherer ancestors of all these cave drawings of them eating butter. They just went out to the butter plant and picked it. Or they, they hunted down the butter and Oh wait, butter is f***ing processed too, you moron. Just because something's processed doesn't make it bad. I love me some butter on certain things. It tastes very good. It also is exclusively saturated fat, which raises LDL, raises risk of cardiovascular disease, increases the risk of LDL penetrating the endothelium due to increased LDL concentrations. It also has been shown to be 70% more fattening to the liver calorie per calorie versus fructose and way more fattening to the liver than polyunsaturated fats. Why do you leave that out? And him saying, it accumulates. Yeah, I mean, if you eat more saturated fat, you get more saturated fat going to your cells. If you eat more unsaturated fat, you get more unsaturated fat winding up in your cells. This is one of the ways that omega-3s function. As you eat more omega-3s, they end up in more cellular membranes. That is part of how they function. So him like fear-mongering this stuff is absolutely absurd. If you look at polyunsaturated fats versus saturated fats, where they are exchanged on a one per one basis, so calorie per calorie, you either see neutral or positive effects of substituting polyunsaturated fats on the risk of cardiovascular disease, LDL, inflammation, and liver fat, as well as probably a whole host of other, and metabolic health as well, and insulin sensitivity. I don't know what else to say other than, as per usual, Dave needed content, and instead of like, I don't know, actually reading a study, he went to the place where he normally gets his information, which is up his rectum. He pulled it out and out came this stained tweet. I'm out. 